Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <clears throat> good morning. Thank you so much for joining me on this morning. Can you guys hear me good? Can you hear me good? Just want to make sure that my connection is good. Send me some hearts, some likes, and let me know that you hear me. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining me for Quick Word Tuesday. Thank you so much for joining me. Awesome, awesome. Thank you for letting me know that. On this morning, I want you just to write in the comments, if only, if only I believe. If only I believe. Um, on last, um, about two weeks ago, good morning, I had a visitor to come visit me. Um, and she was my business coach. And, and it was her first time coming to actually visit me in my hometown. That we always meet together on Zoom. We always pray together or we do a conference call. And so when she came in to my church service about two weeks ago, and, and when she began to walk through my place, my salon, and, and I wanted to show her how I started out. And, and I kept saying that I did it off of faith because people look at you now and people don't realize where God has actually bought you from. You, do you hear what I'm saying? People see your now and they get excited about the glory, but they don't really know your story. They don't really know what all you have gone through. They don't really know how you had to suffer, how you had to wait, how you had to endure the process in order to get to the place that God has called you and purpose for you to be. That when you begin to really, um, really get to the place of God, I'm telling you right now, you ain't got time to be pompous. You don't have time to be arrogant. You in such a place that you have begun to posture yourself and all the only thing you can do is cry and just tell God thank you because you know where God has brought you from. Do you hear what I'm saying? And that sometimes, oftentimes, people look at you now and they start looking at you and they try to judge you and think that you always had it together, that, that everything always just fit together for a puzzle um, just like that for you. But let me tell you something. All of us had to go through the pieces. All of us had to be able to be able to put together the pieces that was inside that box in order to make the picture that shows up on the outside it don't already come picture made baby we have to go through some stuff we have to go through it piece by piece we have to cry we have to be frustrated we have to ask god why we have to ask god is it our time god is it even our turn god where are you because through even through through the process that oftentimes we get frustrated and don't understand what god said that can be mine be mine. So let me tell you something. I don't want nobody to get weary and well-doing. I want you to continue to endure the process. Continue to stay in the race. Because let me tell you something. Trouble don't last always. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy will come in the morning. So I wanted to share with you by beginning. Because when she came in here, she said, let me tell you something. This right here is a testimony. You should have done this as a testimony. And I started saying, I was like, you know what? You're absolutely right. Because I didn't show people how I started. I just showed people my end result. And, and but people thought that it was already all together. Nah, we had to suffer through some stuff. So let me, let me show you, it, it's, it's dark back here, but let me show you how, how we started. And I'm going to turn the camera around. This is, how we started if you can see this is how we started faith listen to me people faith is not what you're able to see faith is what you can't see because if you can see it it ain't faith if you can see it it ain't faith but faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. 
I don't see it yet, but I believe God. I don't see it yet, but I trust God. I don't see it yet, but I believe God is going to show up with the finances. I don't see it yet, but God, I trust you. God, I believe in you. God, I give your name the praise, the glory, and the honor. This is faith right here. This is faith. This is how I started. This is how I believe God. Nobody ain't gave me nothing. I stepped in here off of faith. Faith the size of a mustard seed. I had to believe God. Even when nobody else showed up and believed God with me. I had to believe God. Because I knew what I asked God for. This. This is faith. This is faith. This is faith. This is faith. There was no ceilings. There was no floors. Can you see the floor? There was no floors. Do you see the wires hanging out and the installation hanging out? This right here is faith. This right here is faith. But every time we came in here, I kept saying, if only, if only, if only I believe. This right here is faith. This is faith. This is what faith looks like. This is what faith looked like. I need for somebody to get it. This right here is what faith looked like. Faith ain't going to look like it's all put together. You got to keep applying faith. You got to keep applying faith. People keep asking you, do you have it yet? When you look at this, I want you to keep saying yes. When people say, is it coming to pass yet? I want you to keep saying yes. Do you still believe? Yeah. Yeah, I still believe. I still believe because my God is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we might ask or think according to the power that worketh way down on the inside of me. Do you believe that God is still going to show up? Yeah, I believe. You got to be like Abraham. You got to be like Sarah. You got to wait in the suffering because let me tell you something. Faith is a process. Faith is a process. Faith is a process. Faith is a process. Nah, it ain't no overnight. So now when people come in and they see this, they see this. And they be like, nah, because see, they don't understand. They don't understand what I had to go through. They don't understand the tears and the cries. They don't understand the sweat. They don't understand that I had to believe in the, on the backside of the mountain when it didn't look like it was going to come to pass. They, 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 it didn't, they didn't understand because they thought that it was all put together. Nah, baby, this is faith. And even though I walk in here, I don't walk in here acting like I got it all together because, see, I knew where God brought me from. I knew how God brought me over. When I walk in these doors now, I understand that this is faith. That this is faith because I knew how I started. I knew how I cried. I knew how I sowed seeds. I knew how I paid my tithes and offering. I knew how I was faithful. I knew how I praised. I knew how I gave him glory. I knew how I gave him honor. I knew how I laid on my face prostrate late in the midnight hour, crying and believing God and believing God and crying. This right here is faith. This right here is faith. This right here is faith. This right here is how I believe. This is how I believe. So I want to encourage somebody on this morning to tell you to hold on. Hold on. Keep the faith. Keep the faith. That it don't, it don't always happen the way you, you want it to. Nah, because I prayed for this for years and years. I didn't have to share everything with everybody and told everybody what I was praying for. But I prayed. I trusted God. I believe in God. And I kept giving. I kept going. Yeah. Yeah, I got frustrated. Yeah, I got tired. Yeah, I wanted to quit. Yes, I did. But I hung on in there. 
I hung on in there because the Bible reminds me in Galatians 6 and 9, it reminds me that don't get weary in well-doing for in due season that you shall reap if you faint not. You can't faint in the process. Yeah, you can get weary. Yeah, you can get tired. Yeah, you can want to throw in the towel. But the thing of the matter is you got to get back up again. I had a conversation with one of the supply guys that came in on last week and he was telling me that he was so frustrated, that he was so aggravated in business and that he wanted to throw in the towel, that he was tired and that it was lonely, that it was a struggle. And I told him, I said, baby, you looking at a pretty struggle. I want you to wake up and get up and stand up again because I didn't been there before. I didn't want it to quit. I didn't want it to throw in the towel, but I'm so glad that I had somebody standing by my side to remind me of who I am, to remind me that you ain't in this alone. And I had to tell him, I said, look, it might get tiresome, but you ain't in this by yourself. So I prophesy to you today that you're going to win and that you're not going to lose. I prophesy to you today that you are the head and not the tail, that you are the lender and not the borrower, that you are above and not beneath. I prophesy to you today that God is going to bless your going out as well as your coming in. I prophesy to you today that this salon will hit all over the world, that I will be a world known stylist, that I will be a household name. You got to begin to prophesy to yourself and stop looking at the valley of dry bones and you got to be like Ezekiel and you got to stand in the middle of the valley even when things look dry, even when things look weary, even when things don't look like it's going to come to pass. I said I prophesy to you and tell you that you got to get up. You got to get up again. And he said, I done fell down so many times. I said, yeah, me too. I done fell down too. I done fell down so I want to lay down. But let me tell you something. The Bible said that a righteous man falleth down seven times, but he gets back up again. I don't care how many times you fall down. You get back up again and again and again and again. And you keep on fighting. You keep on fighting because faith, faith is not pretty. But let me tell you something. It's impossible to please him. You, you can't please him without it. So in order to get what you pray for, you got to have faith and hold on till it come to pass. Hold on till it come to pass. So this is the word of the Lord for the people of God. I pray that it has blessed you. I pray that it has encouraged you. I pray that it has strengthened you to make you get back in there and fight some more. This is Quick Word Tuesday. I am Pastor Deidre Samuel McLeod. Have an awesome and wonderful day. And to God be all of the glory.